Hey everybody. Uh, so a new study has been published that shows a link between long-term steroid use and atherosclerosis, which is the leading cause of heart disease. So uh, I found this study quite interesting and quite alarming, but I wanted to find out uh, whether this affected guys like myself that are on TRT, right? The study specifically studies long-term anabolic androgenic steroid use and there was a link found to, uh, to heart disease. And so I wanted to just dig a bit deeper to find out if this affects us, you know, because ultimately we're on TRT, not just to improve our lifestyles, but to be healthy and hopefully live longer too. So the original study looked at long-term steroid users using super physiological doses, in other words, above normal or natural levels. So I was hoping that, you know, for those of us that are on normal levels where we stay within the normal range, uh, that we wouldn't be affected by these results. And so just to be sure, um, and you can find it, you can find this original study that I'm talking about uh, in the description below. All the studies I'll be talking about uh, today are linked in the description of this video. So this is the original study that I'm talking about. Um, but I did go dig deeper into the literature and into the studies uh, on TRT to find out if TRT has the same risks associated with heart disease. So you'll be happy to know that it doesn't. And all the research that is currently out there, including uh, a lot of the latest research, seems to indicate that TRT is safe for your heart. So I found two studies, which I'm gonna just highlight the results with you quickly. The first one was by uh, Science Daily. Uh, the title was Testosterone Supplementation Reduces Heart Attack Risk in Men with Heart Disease. So not only is it safe, but men who were at risk of heart disease actually reversed that risk by going on to TRT if they had low testosterone. So let's read the conclusion to that. It says, the study shows that using testosterone replacement therapy to increase testosterone to normal levels in androgen deficient men doesn't increase their risk of a serious heart attack or stroke, which is quite reassuring. Right, then I found another study and this was testosterone replacement therapy and cardiovascular risk, a review, which is kind of what we're after, right? And that was a really good uh, study to read through as well. I highly rec recommend you guys have a look through it if you're interested in just optimizing your health and making sure that you live healthy, you have a strong and healthy heart and that you're not putting yourself at risk. But we'll just cut straight to the conclusions for the point of this video and anyone wanting to read more about it can find the links in the description, like I said earlier. So their conclusion was, Previous and present meta-analysis of the available evidence on random control trials, whether or not they had cardiovascular events, their primary endpoint, and pharmacoepidemiological studies do not support any causal role between TRT and adverse cardiovascular events. This is especially true when hypogonadism is properly diagnosed and replacement therapy correctly performed. So, as you can see, uh, if you do have a valid case of low testosterone and you go on TRT, seems like you're fine, right? Uh, I would love to go through uh, all the studies that are available there, but the best ones to look at are kind of the overall analysis of the ones, you know, they take all the studies into consideration. So I'm, I'm quite comfortable with that right now, but always feel free to do your own investigation if you like that. But I think the, um, the crux of these results is that if, you know, steroids bad, TRT good, right? If you're doing copious and excessive amounts of steroids, you know, like the, the bodybuilders do, and you're doing it for extended amount of time, this is clearly gonna put you at risk for uh, heart disease and heart conditions like ather atherosclerosis. Um, however, if you're on TRT, uh, and you had a valid case for TRT and then you go onto TRT to get your levels from low to the normal range, you seem to be perfectly healthy and fine. In fact, in men with heart disease, it seemed to have reversed those uh, risks of heart disease. So yeah, that's quite reassuring and um, I hope you found those results quite reassuring too. If you are on TRT in this community, hopefully we're all here to get out uh, testosterone levels to the normal or optimal levels, nothing beyond that and nothing to do with steroids. I know there's a lot of guys in the comments that do ask questions regarding steroids. Unfortunately, I can't help you there. There are other channels you can go to for that, but I'm interested in optimizing my health, optimizing my 
uh, uh, mood and lifestyle and well-being and that is by keeping things within the normal range uh, on TRT so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please click the like button and click subscribe for more videos like this in future and links to all the studies that I referenced in this video are in the description below and until next time catch you later out of here